There is one message Iraq's Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki has been pushing during his visit to Washington, D.C. this week. Help me fight terrorism in my country, a cause, Maliki says, will not only help Iraq, but the region. Here is what he said during a speech this morning in Washington, D.C. Fought by all countries and societies worldwide, we want an international war, a global war against terror. If we had two world war, we won the third world war against those who are killing people, killing population who are calling for bloodshed, for ignorance, and do not want logic to govern our daily lives. The main challenge Iraq faces remains the same, a rise of attacks that has claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of civilians. A rise, Maliki says, is a result of violence in Syria. But Maliki, who's in Washington, D.C., to try to convince both the administration and the lawmakers to step up their support to help him fight terrorism in Iraq, is having trouble convincing them. Congress, who experts say, take a harder line on Iraq than Obama, sent a letter to the U.S. president asking him to be tougher on Maliki. In it, they say they blamed the Maliki government for the rise of violence in Iraq. The letter says that Maliki pursues a sectarian and authoritarian agenda, which strengthens al-Qaeda in Iraq. Senator McCain, one of the six Republicans and Democrats who signed the letter, says that Washington's assistance to Iraq should be tied to a new, more developed strategy and real changes in Iraq. So experts note that Maliki will face many challenges in trying to convince both the administration and the Congress to, as he said in his speech, make a fresh start in a complicated relationship with the U.S. And his meeting with President Obama at the White House tomorrow is only one step forward on a very bumpy road. Rima Abhamdiya RT, Washington, D.C.